Baker. Hey guys, Tanya Cardwell here from Pavlov Dog Training. I just had a new board and train come in and we're gonna introduce that dog to these pre-existing board and trains. So we do this regularly and I just wanna demonstrate how we do it. There's a super helpful tool and it is a dressage wand, AKA a dressage whip. So I'm gonna grab it from right here. I have it strategically located by the door. So if you do any kind of equestrian work, this is, this is what you're looking at. It's $18.99 on Amazon. So we're going to use it for a couple of different things. So um, for one, I'm a big fan of short sniffs, about two, three full seconds, and then having all of the dogs walk, right? Kind of dissipating any tension with movement. So you're going to see, you know, I'm, I'm, looking for ideally a, I call it the yin yang booty sniff <laughs> where I'm sure you can visualize what I mean by yin yang booty sniff both dogs are turned um I prefer that over I'm really hoping that this fairly beefy bulldog doesn't come straight up and go head to head um so if I have a dog go straight head to head I'm immediately NO and I'm gonna just bop them on um basically the booty the fleshy part of the booty um, and it's quick, right? And you, you want to startle. It should be like, whoa, what? <laughs> and I'm going to do it early on in the sequence, if that happens. This bulldog, just for background, she's a female. Um, she's, uh, she's a mix, and sh her only history with dogs is dogs who are 11 pounds and smaller. These are the biggest dogs. The owners say that she's um, a little apprehensive with bigger dogs on lead. But anyway, we're going to see how she does. So yeah, so for one, she can't go straight like nose to nose posture. We can't do that. And she, um, we also want sniffing for about three seconds. Now, um, another way we do it is I cr you create space with it. You're gonna have to advocate for space, especially if you have a fearful dog. Um, so what I'm gonna do, it's almost like you just do this. Kind of like a broom. Right? And you're, you're waving it in front of their feet. I'm going to do this with Stella. So she learned this <laughs> in the past. That's why, right? She saw this and she went away. But initially, um, you just graze in front of the dog's feet. So just for demonstration purposes, these are a dog's feet. At first, they don't get it until they feel it. And then they'll start to back up. So that's how you advocate for the more fearful dog space. So um, also, I leash dogs. These dogs are really good with dogs. This one, we'll see. So I'm just going to let this bulldog drag the lead. Hey, bud. Hi. Hi. So I don't want any tension on the lead. I'm just going to drop it like that. And then they're allowed to sniff for two or three seconds. Good. Come on. Good. Good girl. Oh, let's get that's a little awkward on you, huh? Hi guys. All right. So that, yeah, she's two, three seconds, and then I, we're advocating. No tension on the lead right here, right? I don't want her to feel, if she's spooked, I, I don't want her to go into fight mode. This is fine. Good. All right. And then, yeah. Girlfriend here means well. We just don't want to, like, overwhelm. This is it. So, see, you can be involved without getting your hands involved. Um, dogs are really responsive to this. So, again, a booty sniff. We're good. All right, cool. And now, at this point, I'm just gonna try, try to encourage everyone to walk. So, and really, I like dogs ignoring each other, right? Um, I don't want dogs to go immediately into romping, playing. Um, I like this behavior. Okay. I feel pretty good about it. Okay. 
the space is a little closed in there, so ideally you want to be doing this in more of an open space. So, um, try and follow her back there. You don't want too many parties in a confined space. Hi, Stella. Good girl. You're being very polite. Okay, cool. So, that is how we do it. I'm sorry you didn't get to see the booty smack, maybe in the future, but at least you got to see a little of that.